Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the North South Carolina state line. And even more specific than that, we are at Carowinds, an amusement park that sits on the North Carolina, South Carolina state line. It's been a whirlwind trip. I went down to Florida on an impulse, spent the last three days visiting amusement parks in Florida. Actually drove out of the state of Florida last night, but that does not mean we have to stop visiting amusement parks. So I decided to stop by here, Carowinds. This is a amusement park opened up in the early 1970s. A uh, local businessman was inspired by his visit to Disneyland and wanted to make a Disneyland for the people of the Carolinas, both South and North Carolina. And to embody this Carolina spirit, he built the amusement park right here on the state line. So please follow me. If we walk around back to the Carowinds sign, it will show us exactly where North Carolina and South Carolina are divided. There is the state line right there. It's the extending on the ground and in to the park. Half of the park is in South Carolina. Half of the park is in North Carolina. There you can see my human body completely bisected by the North and South Carolina state line. This hand right here is in North Carolina. This hand here is in South Carolina. This foot here is in North Carolina. This foot here in South Carolina. So I've got my right foot and my left foot in North Carolina. My left foot and my right foot in South Carolina. Does that make sense? All right, the North Carolina entrance is closed, so we're gonna have to enter here through South Carolina. Carowinds opened in 1973, therefore this year is its 50th anniversary. Pretty impressive. And as we continue to walk through the park, we have the dividing line between North Carolina and South Carolina. This is that Carolina blue used by uh, Carolina sports teams. This is uh, South Carolina blue. That's the color of the South Carolina flag. And uh, that's the dividing line. So we'll constantly be weaving in and out of the two Carolinas on our day here at Carowinds. And Carowinds is part of the Cedar Fair chain of parks, meaning that I was able to get in here with my uh, Cedar Fair annual pass I purchased uh, at the beginning of the year at uh, Knott's Berry Farm out in California. And in addition to an annual pass, I also have the annual drink pass, which allows me to get a uh, drink at the Coca-Cola refreshment station every 15 minutes. I like to try different flavors of uh, soda that are available at the different Cedar Fair parks. Let's, uh, we got the Minute Maid Aguas Frescas. I've not tried these before. Let's go with mango lime not necessarily the biggest mango fan but I always like to try something new it's pretty good pretty good the the lime there I think uh, complements the mango well almost you know I'd almost believe this was orange soda if I wasn't paying attention they've got their decorations up for their uh, 50th anniversary you can see the giant beads there on top of the Cinnabon stand. You can see over here to the left in South Carolina, we have the giant spinning observation tower. Let's uh, hop aboard that. That's a good way to get a bird's eye view of the park. And here it comes, the Carolina Sky Tower as it slowly rotates on its descent back to Earth. Gives kind of a 360 degree view of the park. 
as it rises and falls. Oh yeah, you can see the people there looking out the windows. Alright, and into the capsule. Please proceed all the way to the right so we can accommodate as many. Alright, said so proceed all the way to the right. Oh, here we go. Rising up over the park. This is like my coaching staff. Looks like this roller coaster here is closed for the day. And that is actually my most hated roller coaster of all time. Really beautiful view right here. You see all the different coasters. See that big red roller coaster? That's the Intimidator. It's named after some sort of race car driver. So you can see that, uh, that big blue roller coaster out front. I forget the name of that. You can see that cart there careening along the track. See people coming into the park there, that big blue line showing us what state they are in. Over here, this is uh this is South or this is North Carolina. Over there is South Carolina. Got a confused there for a second. Beginning our twirling descent back down to earth. See all the tiny people enjoying their tiny amusement park there. We spiral back down towards planet Earth. advertises Carowinds Grand Carnival. Now apparently this is not yet occurring, but it looks like they do have some of the uh, decorations up. It is apparently an international festival. He's got, he's got a little invitation there. I guess the QR code probably gives you some information. Yeah, you can see all these different international displays set up uh, around the park here. Yeah, different animals there inviting you to Grand Carnival. There's a panda with a box full of fireworks. See the uh, brightly colored Indian elephant there. You can see an Italian gondola there, as well as a little miniature leaning tower of Pisa. And here at uh, the Dippin' Dots stand, we have a sighting of their mascot, Frozetti the Yeti. Actually, Got to meet Frozetti the Yeti at IAPA last year. True, true story. For those of you keeping track, we are crossing from South Carolina back into North Carolina here. It's the giant bottle of champagne there, representing France. See the fleur de lis is there. Looks like this gator here is the uh, king of Carnival. This is the Midway Memories shop. I guess it's like a nostalgic gift shop here. You have the 50 year merchandise there. And also these pins that have like their vintage characters on them. I guess these are characters that they no longer use. There's Pamela the Pig. There is uh, what's that Ringo. Ringo looks like, oh he's a rac Ringo the Raccoon. And I, I think some of these are like attractions that are no longer there. The Queen of the River Boat and the Carolina Railroad. And then there is the uh, monorail. Yeah, they had a monorail here at one point. There's some Grand Carousel merchandise. Have a uh, Grand Carousel snow globe there. Rosebud. Let's see the Carowinds merch there. The shirt, actually a vintage park map. That's pretty cool actually. Oh look at these these bears here. I guess these aren't Care Bears, but rather Care-O-Wins Bears. 
scopes. I find these very interesting. I've seen there's a few other places where they have uh, these model roller coasters you can put together. I think that's really, really cool. And then this is a metal parkscape. It's like the silhouette of the uh, like skyline of the park. I think that that's pretty. That's pretty fun. See the cuckoo clock there with the cuckoo bird popping out. Speaking of birds, got a uh, peacock here in the back of this wagon. Nice! The old fashioned scrambler there. It's like you're in a whirlpool going round and round. Slam into the right side of the cart. Like to check out all the old carousels here at the different amusement parks. Let's get a closer look here at some of the uh, carousel horses. Oh, there we go. A lot of looks like it's all horses here, but some uh, very nicely carved horses. Right, we gotta find us a horse. I noticed this horse here is named Caroline, presumably after the Carolinas themselves. It is horses wearing the uh, both the North Carolina blue and the South Carolina blue. Caroline here, proving herself to be a fine speed. since I went to the Carousel Museum in Rochester. I've kind of made it a mission to uh, find and as many uh, many carousels as possible. And that'll do, horse. That'll do. Yeah, this coaster here, this one that's closed down, I don't know if it's closed down for the day or if it's permanently closed. This is the most painful roller coaster I've ever been on. It's called the Vortex. It's a stand-up coaster that uh, has like a, a, a very painful object that goes between your legs when you're riding on it. I rode uh, Pipeline at SeaWorld uh, yesterday and uh, I loved it. But, uh, actually, I actually really enjoyed it, but this, is, this, thing, is, this thing is a monster. It was a monster. They should just, they should just, please tear this down. It, it did, it did horrible things to me. Oh no! Apparently, uh, Vortex is going to reopen later this year. No, no. Our crotches, our crotches are not safe. This postcard says, "Race your gator at Alligator Alley." It's like there's like a carnival racing game here where you, the party boys where you race alligators. Bits and pieces of the Carolinas here. We have the uh, famous lighthouse here from the North Carolina coast. This roller coaster here has one of the most unusual names of any roller coaster. It is the Hurler. The Hurler. So for a period of time, Carowinds was actually owned by the Paramount Movie Studio, and they would actually theme certain rides after movies, and this was one of them. It was called the Hurler after Wayne's World, because Wayne and Garth and Wayne's World, whenever they vomited or something made them sick, they always referred to as hurling, the vomiting. They said, I'm going to hurl. So they, they themed this roller coaster after Wayne's World, calling it the Hurler. And uh, that name apparently stuck even after they removed the movie branding from all the other rides. Apparently they were allowed to keep the Hurler. So a, a roller coaster, maybe, the, I was gonna say this may be the only roller coaster named after the act of vomiting. I know there is a, a non-roller coaster ride in Florida called the Vomitron. I think Vomitron, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the, the Wayne's World Wooden Roller Coaster, The Hurler. 
Oh, here it comes. Whatever, whatever you do, don't, don't hurl. It's a 50s style diner here called the Jukebox Diner. Now most, uh, most of the Cedar Fair Parks do have 50s diners, but most of them are called coasters. This one has a uh, different name. Contraption here, actually called the Scream Weaver instead of instead of Dream Weaver, which is actually actually a pretty funny name. And people definitely are screaming. That yeah, that looks very nauseating. Oh my gosh, it's like a high intensity uh, upside down Ferris wheel. Oh, look at this happy little corn dog, smiling, all slathered in mustard. All right, we are leaving the Carolina Boardwalk. See the old school postcard there with all the uh, pretty ladies there in the letters. And as we leave the Carolina Boardwalk, we head into Carowinds County Fair, which is where the Carolinas come together. I'm not sure what county this fair is because technically this park is in two separate counties. We have the Rock and Roller here, which is like a Music Express type ride. And we have this photo op, which is interesting because you put your head in these records. Oh, it's a, it's a radio station. W WNDZ, The Winds. I'm a record. Put me on a record player and play me. I'm sorry, I don't know what a record is supposed to say. Look at this. This record here above the rock and roller is called Bye Bye Lunch by the Whirl and Hurlers. That is, that is astonishing. That is the, uh, the second use of the word hurl here at, at Carowinds. A park all about hurling, apparently. is the Electra Spin, and this looks like the most sadistic ride here at the park. There's people on there being twisted, turned, rotated in every possible nauseating uh, direction. Oh, uh, they look like they look like they're gonna hurl. Maybe they should have called this ride the uh, the Hurler instead. Oh my gosh! Look at those people twisting and turning. You guys having fun? The Carowinds County Fair. It's a blast. Oh, I do like I, I do like this little uh this little space robot here. I guess we can put our face there in the moon. This county fair is going all the way to the moon. Oh, there they go. Through the loop. I believe that it's called a cobra roll right there. Oh my goodness. I do love these uh, these photo ops here. Here you can be almost any vegetable you truly uh, want to be. Look at me. I'm the corn. I won first place. But I'm the eggplant. I'm the judge's favorite, right there. I'm the cucumber, I did respectably. I made second place. What do these judges have against tomatoes? And why do I have a big bruise on me? This here is the do -si do Kind of like a scrambler in a way, but almost like elevates, brings them up in the air while scrambling them sideways. Yeah, called the do -si do So technically, this is a square dancing themed uh, ride. It actually makes sense. You know, you do square dance in like these circular patterns or, or more like square like <laughs> patterns. But uh, yeah, I could see, I could see how uh, square dancing uh, inspired this ride. And you see right here called the do -si do 
And if you look closely on the sign, you can see like little dance steps underneath it. The Dosey Do. -si -do. Alright, let's use our drink pass again here. We already tried the mango lime. Let's go with the strawberry hibiscus. Yeah, a drink made out of made out of flowers. You can notice the cup here has a little roller coaster on it. And then at the bottom there it has a list of all the different uh, Cedar Fair parts. But anyways, this is a strawberry hibiscus. It's pretty good. I don't like strawberry that much, but I guess I, I guess I really, really love hibiscus. It's one of the most delicious flowers out there. So the Zephyr swings here, but what makes these swings very interesting is that the literal state line cuts right through the ride right here on the border South Carolina that way North Carolina that way so as you swing around these swings you are literally continually crossing the state line over and over and over this may be one of the fastest and easiest ways to cross a state line in the United States just think of it and I did double check on Google Maps the line between North Carolina South Carolina right here cutting through the line you can just see those people crossing through. Thank, thank goodness they don't need a passport to, to cross through to the different states. Very interesting. Interesting sensation being able to be in another state in a fraction of a moment. All right, heading into the Blue Ridge Junction. That's the uh, part of North Carolina that I live in, the Blue Ridge Mountains. Take a little peek over the fence there. You can see one of their haunted houses from their uh, Halloween event, Scarowinds. Maybe, uh, maybe if I get a chance, I'll come back here and visit uh, during Scarowinds. There is mountain gliders. I guess the to take a uh, a cruise over top of the mountains in these uh, old timey aircrafts. See if they can actually use the front part of their glider to control their car and make it drift one way or the other. Woo! Here's the newest section to Carowinds. It's called Aeronautic Landing. So you enter here, you have a uh, flight control tower there and a, I think this is a runway right there. There's the sign for Aeronautica Landing. Oh look, there's a drone. A big drone up there. There is the gear spin. I remember seeing this at uh, IAPA, the theme park trade show. You have the flight test fuel right here. And there you see how they spin in all sorts of different directions. It almost looks like they're going to crash into each other. All the very intricate, very intricate uh, system of spinning and vehicles there, all intertwined and rotating. Pretty amazing. Yeah, it almost has like a like a propeller. Meant to look like like a propeller from an airplane. Oh, you hear some shrieks. Here is the hover and dodge. Looks like like glowing bumper cars. Oh wow. So yeah, kind of a traditional bumper car, but but uh, looks really cool with all the flashing lights, kind of a unique design there. Notice all this luggage there in the middle. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a uh, a baggage carousel at an airport. Oh, we got a little bit of a little bit of a log jam. Yeah, I do like this. I like the uh, the, the fun design there for the bumper cars. Fry stand here is called Frequent Friars, which. That's pretty clever name. They got they definitely got some pretty clever names here at uh, Carowinds. They got a new right here. It's not open yet. You see, it's got like a compass on the top. That makes me wonder what kind of bizarre and strange whirling this thing does. But yeah, it looks like they're still uh, putting the finishing touches on this ride. And then right in the middle, we have this monument here. See, it's got uh, propellers on it. it. Says this is dedicated to all those who made the dreams 
of reaching the skies a reality. Okay, I admit it took me a few minutes to put everything together. It is, uh, I was wondering why, why is there an airplane themed section in uh, Carowinds? What does that have to do with the Carolinas? But then it clicked, then it clicked in, uh, in my head that uh, the first flight happened in North Carolina, in Wrightsville Beach. The Wrights brothers flew the very first airplane ever. So, it all makes sense. Here is the Air Walker. It's an interesting, uh, interesting ride there. You can see people actually like sitting on the wings of the airplane as it both spins in a circle and goes up, up and down the arches here. There's the Air Racers, another interesting rotating ride there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these, these, these newer rides, they just find new, more new and creative ways to twirl and spin human bodies. Oh my goodness. interesting looking aircraft out here and then it looks like an aircraft hangar back here it's a little dining area they have some food trucks parked down here so you can eat in an airplane hangar another ride that has not yet opened the gyro force here looks like uh, a carnival ride called the casino if I'm guessing which is kind of like a big roulette wheel for people Another unusual sculpture. Here's a propeller on top. I guess we turn, turn this crank here, and uh, there we go. We turn the crank, and the propeller spins. See those ominously tall swigs that tower over the entire theme park from here. The sky high challenge here, which I guess is like one of those dangling challenges where you see how long you can dangle. And back here we have Pilot Mountain, which is an actual mountain in North Carolina. And I guess the word pilot also fits in with the, uh, the airline theme here. The restaurant here is uh, Terminal A, elevated brews and bites, because no place is funner to hang out in than, uh, than an airport terminal. Although I do like, I do like the little uh, pink planes here dangling over the walkway. And over here we have the Soul Dark Ride at Carowinds, Boo Blasters on Boo Hill. See the front door there, nailed shut. It says Ghost Eviction in Progress, evicting those poor, uh, poor helpless ghosts. And our chariot awaits. Oh, here we go. Out into the haunted cemetery. I'm gonna blast these ghosts. Oh, there we go. That one moved. Oh, watch out. Dropping a coffin on our head. Oh, what's in here? Spooky and dark. Why is it so dark in here? See a skeleton. You can open up. Nope. Oh, there's a fortune. The fortune teller right there. A lot of these. There we go. Some of these aren't working. There's a ghostly dinner here. It's the ghostly cook. Look into the mirrors. I don't know if my gun is working. Spooky suit of armor. Oh look, he's at a skull face. Oh, they usually 
normally is a guy playing the organ. There's uh, no organ player right there. Oh, saw the ghost pop out of the organ tube. There's some ghosts in bed here. Oh, there they go, or the skeletons rather. Dun stay out of the dungeon here. I'm trying to hit these targets. Oh, there's a ghost machine. There we go. Oh, it's so dark. Skeletons here in the dark. Oh, look at all those eyes. Oh, that is kind of scary. And now we have to fight Lucifer. Oh, I saw his hand stick up. He didn't pop up all the way. I totally lost track. What what state are we currently in? Is this North or South Carolina? I think it's South, maybe? Or maybe it's North. All right, heading into camp. Snoopy, population, peanuts. There is the notorious kite-eating tree trying to eat those uh, children there on that kite. Oh, bus got stuck at the top. Oh, there it goes. There's Pigpen with some four-wheelers, I guess. He is a fan of being all muddy, so naturally he, uh, he likes to go four-wheeling. They have a old roller coaster car. It says this is from Thunder Road from uh, says 1976 to 2015. So I guess this was a roller coaster that was discontinued in 2015 and now serves as a merchandise rack. We walk along that narrow state line as we head towards the exit. Where did I park? So four days and four amusement parks. We visited Universal Studios Florida, Busch Gardens Tampa, SeaWorld Orlando, and Carowinds here on the North Carolina, South Carolina border. It's warm today, but it feels cool and relaxing compared to how Florida was. Now, I wasn't able to ride any roller coasters today. I've been riding a lot of roller coasters the last few days. Uh, simply, uh, Cedar Fair, who owns uh, Carowinds, doesn't allow uh, people to film on rides. Uh, fortunately, you know, SeaWorld Busch Gardens allow you to do it if you do it in a safe manner. I think with, with, with Cedar Fair, it's just a manner of, uh, you know, they, they, a lot of people go on roller coasters. It's it's hard to verify, you know, if someone is doing it in a safe way. I hope someday they do change their policy and uh, allow me to film on the roller coasters. But as of now, we got to follow the rules and we cannot film on uh, the coasters. But anyways, got something planned for tomorrow. Hope, hopefully, you guys will uh, stick with me and continue uh, following this uh, this channel. Um, if you guys. 
like this channel, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos are out. I travel around the country, I film roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If uh, you'd like to help support the channel, consider contributing to Patreon. Three dollars more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins and Etsy shop, including four brand new carpet bagger monster face pins. Also doing uh, cameos, personalized messages, greetings, birthday wishes, anniversary wishes, or just for fun. All the information for all those things is in the description of this video. And of course, all that goes to help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.